Last night when I left, I was rather surprised. I was walking through campus. I ended up walking through a group of people who were going to a James Randi talk. And I was wondering, have you ever had the opportunity to discuss with him and find out about his million dollar challenge? And I, I'm not saying I don't believe he's correct in what he does. I think he's rather close minded, but I wondered if you'd had a chance to discuss with him. No, I've never, I never have discussed it with him and I doubt that, that such a discussion would be fruitful. Randy is a good example of skepticism without an open mind. And as I said in the opening things, you know, that's, that's likely, that's attached to a belief of omniscience. You know, I know everything, therefore, you know, I don't have to open my mind to learn anything new. The, the Randy phenomena is mostly, from my viewpoint, from what I've seen of it, uh, it's mostly propaganda. It's a way of convincing people and getting people to think that there is nothing in this world but the objective reality and anything else is stupid. And if you want to entertain that anything else exists, then you are stupid. So it's demagoguery at the point that if you don't agree with me, you're a fool. And that tends to affect people. And his million dollar challenge, as I have understood it and as I have read things about it, has been answered and met on numerous occasions and no money has ever changed hands, nor will it. It's a bogus offer that is not likely to ever happen. It's part of a marketing campaign. You know, it's, not, uh, it's not real. Randy's not out there with an open mind hoping to find something that he can spend his million dollars on that will show the world that, that uh, reality is not objective. He's got a closed mind and he doesn't expect to lose any of that money because he won't let it go. I've, I've read several things, some of them were on YouTube, some of them I read elsewhere, where people have done such a performance and it was just denied. Because you can always explain anything away with a conspiracy. You see, nothing is, you, you know, it's just easy to deny whatever it is you want to deny. So I think there'd be no usefulness in engaging skeptics of that sort. I think all you do is create an argument and the argument would not actually be a real argument, it would just be demagoguery. It would be what kind of tricks and what kind of things can I say to get the audience to see it my way, you know? And it would be the questions like, have you stopped beating your wife? Right, so if you say yes, then you've implied you beat your wife. If you say no, it implies you still beat your wife. You see, there's no way to answer that without sounding like, you know, you're, something's wrong with you. So that's demagoguery, where you can use these word tricks and so on to get your point across. And so it'd be more of a, it would be more of a contest who could be better at the demagoguery to convince an audience to look at it their way rather than the other way. You know, that sort of thing wouldn't interest me. Okay, thank you very much.